Hi there, today I am going to do just a very quick little video for you and what it's going to show you is how to stamp your sentiment into the thought bubble. It sounds simple, however when you have these rubber stamps it can be kind of tricky because once you stamp your speech bubble it's hard to line up exactly where to put your sentiment. Um, it can take quite a bit of trial and error and in the process you might waste a lot of cardstock. So the simple way to do this is to use a stamp a jig or a similar device. Um, you might already know how to do this and a lot of people probably have them and maybe don't know how to use them but it's really simple. Um, you're going to take your cardstock and I'm just using a scrap piece of cardstock because on my finished card here I did end up um, cutting it out and putting it on some pop dots. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick that up or not but um, the first thing that you'll do is to ink up your thought bubble. I'm actually going to use a gray ink And just stamp that wherever you want on your card. And then the next step is going to take the uh, clear plastic sheet and then your, um, your sentiment. And for this one I'm going to use black ink. And you want to line up um, the groove. And it uh, this one is in a T-shape so you can put your clear plastic on either side. I like to have it on my left though. And you're going to butt the clear plastic up into the corner of the plastic piece. And then um, making sure that I have my stamp correct side up, you're going to nestle this block into the plastic piece and then stamp down. And that's going to show you exactly where your sentiment is. Then you can go through uh, with your thought bubble and your plastic piece and just arrange it until you get the placement that you want. I find um, kind of tilting a little bit gets it um, right in there. Then you're going to take your plastic piece and reline it up with your clear piece. Going to leave that and you don't want to bump it. Um, Re-ink your sentiment stamp. Make sure that it's the correct way. Nestle it back into the plastic piece and then stamp down. And then you can see here that the sentiment is perfectly inside of my speech bubble and um, no waste of cardstock and it's the perfect placement. And again uh, you'd be left with this once you cut it out and color it. Um, if you're interested in a video of this card just leave me a comment and if I get enough interest then I'll go ahead and make a how-to uh, video for this card. So thank you for watching and I hope that this helped.